Hey, it's Frustle Lovers, Todd and Mark here from Whole Lot. They love Todd. What are we doing today? We're going to take a good look at the ECM Mechanica Slim. Brand new machine. Just got it in. Huge boiler, right? We've got one open here, of course, because that's yeah. what you do. Yeah, it's small. It's got a big boiler. That's his big selling car, but it has another feature that I thought was really cool that we'll get into also. Okay. Now, if you like, we're going to, and we're going to get close-up looks inside here. Mm -hmm. If you like this sort of stuff, what should people do? Really? Yeah, you. He always says this. <laughs> Click on the Kumisi Gam down there. The Ring bean. the bell, yeah, the bean, and yeah. then you'll know we're doing more videos. Then turn on your notifications. Ring that bell, and then you'll know they're up there. So, um, so we're gonna we're gonna show some extractions, some frothing with big and large pitchers. Yep. Todd's gonna pour some art. I'm pretty sure. We'll give it a go. Okay. So the basics on this guy. Yeah, it's less than 10 inches wide, about 15 and a half inches to the top here. But uh, you can take these little cup riddle guards off if you want to to get in there, so you can get under the lower counter. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an E61 group. It's got some real nice specialty uh, parts with the ECM always has. Like, look at the, the handle on the portafilter. Very custom made, it's on an angle. Uh, the lever here for raisin for brewing, uh, you notice that? That's also custom. The cap on top of the brew group and the one on the bottom, also custom made for these machines. So they absolutely are beautiful. I mean, we really like the details, the extra little touches that ECM puts into these machines. I mean, one thing I noticed right away is on their newer machines, they have this group that's got the little taper to it on the E61, yeah. oh, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, re really, really nice. And then also, it's not just the outside, right, but inside, the, uh, the design and engineering, right? Yes, it's all German designed, Italian built, but the way it's made, it's everything is laid out perfectly. And if you ever have to do some user service or maintenance, you can get inside, it's easy to get everything. This is probably the easiest machine there is. To yeah. do self-service and self-maintenance. The ECMs, they really are, and again, laid out nicely inside. I know you like the valve tree, right? Yep. Yeah, very easy to, to get at if you ever have to. Not that you're going to have to, but if you do, it's there. And then there was something else you noticed in, inside here that oh, yeah. you really like, too. Yeah, it's a static relay. So always hear about static relays being with the PID machines. What that is, that sends power to the boiler in such a way where you don't have any arcing like normally you have with a pressure stat or maybe you notice a switch on your wall, you turn it on and off, it's dark, you make a little spark. No sparking, no arcing. Uh, so you don't have any maintenance issues from that, which you would have with a pressure stat or any non-PID machine. So this is very unique. Pressure stat, but has a static relay. Right, and it is a heat exchange machine. I'm not sure that we mentioned that. Heat exchange machine, so you're definitely gonna brew and steam at the same time, no problem. Yeah. And with that huge, that huge 2.2 liter stainless steel boiler, you got lots of reserve power. Uh, for steaming there, obviously. Also, you know, looking around the front, I really like the fact that those gauges are up, up top where you can see them. A lot of times they're kind of underneath the group and behind. And, um, you know, not, not everybody's a, a fan, but I do like seeing those. Um, so that's real nice. Yeah, that's, some people like to watch gauges, some don't, but yeah, yeah, they're there. It's nice. Yeah. So, Todd, some of the other things that we like about the machine. I like the adjustable brew pressure from the top of the machine. So if you ever have to change your brew pressure, you know it's off a little bit, you put your blind filter basket in, and from this screw here, you can adjust it, turn it up or down to get back to where you want to be. We always set it at 10 bar with back flush disc in. That gets right pressure. That's typical for a vibration pump machine to set it like that, and really nice under the drip tray. And you know, I always call out ECM on their drip trays because they're so beautifully done, even the internals of them. But underneath that drip tray, there's a little slot to hold your blind filter. Yeah. Uh, so, so that that's so, really nice, right? Yeah, so you don't lose that. Yeah. You always know where it's at when you want to clean. And of course the yeah, reservoirs. The reservoir. Yeah, it pulls out right from the top here or you can fill it in place. What do you say? So we pull some shots and do some frothing? Yeah, let's see what it can do. All right, so let's see how this does brewing, steaming, frothing. <laughs> what grinder are you using here now? The ECM uh, 6C manual 64, I believe it's called. So it looks nice next to the uh, Mechanica there. Yeah, we got the, the C manual 54 over here. I'm a little partial to the 64, a little faster, a little more heavy duty, mm -hmm. but both good quality grinders. First, we'll do a, do a cappuccino, so we'll do a okay. small cup. That way you can see how it would frost a small 12 ounce pitcher of milk. Okay. Then we'll show a larger pitcher afterwards. So it's got a large border, so it has really good staying power. Yeah. Two hold sip, right? Uh-huh. Yep, no burn steam wand. Really nice roll going there. Yeah, it's nice. We're going to get see. some art, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay. 
I know you love it when I put you on the spot. And you get the camera right in my face. <laughs> Too shabby. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, so now I'll move up and see how she does with the 20 ounce pitcher. Right. Yeah, it's a lot more milk in this pitcher. Making those big lattes. Yeah, with this big boiler, it's got nice pressure, and it'll hold. Yeah. See, it's not getting any weaker at all. Yeah, a little more air into that. Just a touch. Ah, oh, the pressure. Okay, yeah. Well, let's we'll see what we can do here. I know you're going to tell me that's not your best work, but uh, still yeah. pretty and going to taste delicious, It should right? taste pretty good. And it's not the machine again if it's not good. Right. So, Todd, a couple of nice drinks there. I know you're not perfectly happy with the art, but pretty good, right? How did it do steaming? Yeah, the, the machine was good. Was yeah. Nice, consistent, long-lasting steam. Uh, great. It was great. So just to, just to recap, it's the uh, Mechanica Slim 2.2 liter boiler. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Um, we'd like the extra attributes you find on the ECM machines, the angled porta filters, extra touches on the E61. Yep. Static wheelie on the inside, fantastic. You, you, li you like the guts of the machine. Yeah, the guts, you? it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it really is. So before we go, again, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Todd, I'm going to let you enjoy your work here. You get the big, ugly one. <laughs> well, thanks, Mark. <laughs> you know, Cheers. Cool. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, do subscribe, come back soon, and we'll have more of the best on everything coffee, right? Yes, we will. What he said. From Whole Latte Love. <laughs> Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.